The great thing about a sermon-based life group is that uh, as, as a church, you know, we're going through these sermon series together, and yet we get very little opportunities to say, hold on a second, that was a really good point. I would like to explore that further. Financial Peace University is a 13-week course that's hosted by Dave Ramsey. It's a, a video series, and week by week, step by step, he brings you through different principles of, of dealing with money in a, a godly, biblical sense. The Truth Project is a DVD video series that talks about the heritage of being a Christian. I think what people are going to find the most is relationships. Uh, we have a very large and welcoming home, and uh, if you don't know, we have a little bit of a secret. We serve a lot of ice cream cake. Uh, Celebrate Recovery is a spiritually based program of recovery um, based on the Beatitudes in the Bible. It also includes some, some of the 12 steps of AA and uh, biblical teachings as well. Well, Soul Shift is a study that is based on a book by a man named Steve Deneff that uh, just looks at what will it take for us to not just be in another study, to not just be going through emotions one more time, but what will it take for our lives to actually be changed, for our souls to actually shift so that our life begins to, to emulate and to model and change to be more like Christ. Um, I hope that people find genuine friendships, uh, meet some people they hadn't known before, um, also just to learn things that they didn't know before and ask questions that are kind of hard to ask on a typical Sunday. Starting Point is an opportunity for you to find out about God's divine story, His plan, and your part in that story. Uh, perhaps you know your story or testimony, as some might say, um, or you've never looked at that at all, or you're discovering what God is and who God is for the first time. Starting Point is a place where you can discover that story and your own story, your place in God's story. Since we haven't come up with a creative name for the group, uh, right now we're just meeting at Wiley's Tavern. Uh, the plan is to have a good quality discussion, a great time of fellowship, and uh, some delicious wings that in my opinion probably beat out B dubs and they're cheaper. Like it can be kind of intimidating to go into the home of somebody that they don't know and I couldn't think of a place less intimidating than a bar with wings. We're going to get together, we're going to open the word, we're going to pray, we're going to hear testimonies, um, we're going to worship God, we're going to eat food, we're going to have fun, it's just going to be a great time. So I hope that every single person in the church considers which life group they can get involved in because it's that important to us. This group's pretty important to me because I am an alcoholic who's in recovery and while I was an active alcoholic drinking, um, I didn't know that there was another way for me to live. Justice for the Poor is a group that we are going to be talking about the ins and outs of poverty. So we'll be looking at who are the poor here in our community in Sioux Falls and abroad throughout the whole world. We'll be looking at why is it important for Christians to care about the poor? And then how? How do we engage with people who are from different socioeconomic classes? And how can we do more help than harm?